think of any engineering solid, uh, be it a ball bearing assembly or a gear, as big as a ship hull or the, uh, any moving parts or anything that actually is exposed to atmosphere, all these engineering solids are usually likely to fail from the surface or the failure usually initiates from the surface. And that's because the, the forces or the stresses acting on the surface is usually higher than that in the bulk. The surface also has a higher exposure to environmental degradation. So both stress concentration can be high, the environmental effect can be very high, and more importantly, the surfaces always carry higher energy, which we call surface energy. In order to protect the components and extend the service life, or at least ensure that the component doesn't fail in service, instead of working onto the bulk, many a times what we do is to take care of the surfaces. And that is called surface engineering. So in pure technical terms, surface engineering is tailoring the microstructure and or composition of any solid component only in the near surface re region. And that near surface region actually is, uh, can be just about a few millimeters and as small as a few nanometers. Now, when you actually approach surface engineering, first you have to understand that one needs to appreciate the nature of solids, why does surfaces arise, and what kind of uh, various surfaces we deal with, and what could be the various approaches of modification of the surface. Actually, there could be only three possibilities. We add on materials, we coat, we remove materials, we machine, or we simply modify the surface without making any dimensional change. So in this particular course on surface engineering, which incidentally was developed in this very institute uh, some years ago, and possibly that was the first course on surface engineering in the country, we intend to cover not only the various techniques, but we start from the fundamentals of classification of various approaches their fundamental basis. Then we go on to describe the processes, but even before we do that, we also talk about various surface dependent properties. In fact, I would like uh, my colleague, uh, Professor Josna Datta to talk about that. As stated by Professor Manna about surface engineering and its importance in an excellent fashion, I would like to mention about the overall course contents and its distribution. The course has been divided into 12 different modules, starting from Introduction to Engineering Materials, the Surface Dependent Engineering Properties, and the degradations which are initiated from the surfaces like wear and corrosion, and subsequently the different approaches and techniques that are followed for improving the surface dependent engineering properties or tailoring the performance of the component in actual service. The, the surface dependent engineering properties which will be discussed at length are wear and corrosion and also fatigue and different other properties like uh, magnetic and, uh, as well as electrical properties. And the surface dependent properties, surface, de surface uh, engineering techniques which will be discussed are categorized into two different uh, ways. One is uh, surface engineering which deals with modification of the surface and another one is surface coating which uh, where we add another layer on the surface and also surface cleaning techniques where we remove layer from the surfaces. Along with this particular surface dependent engineering properties and the techniques, we will also discuss about the different surface characterization and testing techniques which are widely used for characterization and testing of different properties as well as the characterization of the surface. This course will be useful for the students at the undergraduate, postgraduate as well as research level from material science, mechanical engineering, the physics, chemistry and also from production engineering backgrounds. In addition to that, it will also be useful to the personnel from the industrial sectors who often work with the engineering components and its manufacturing. In this particular course, uh, this in addition to this particular uh, 
syllabus, I would further like to mention that no prerequisite is essential to attend this particular course. However, it is important that the students or the engineers who attend this course should have a brief background knowledge on introduction to materials as well as the engineering mathematics and uh, the thermodynamics and kinetics, these are basic engineering topics. And uh, after the end of the course, usually after the one each module, we just give few MCQs, a few uh, tutorials and assignment which we check on a regular basis and at the end of the course, we will just uh, do online uh, testing and the testing to, uh, online testing as well as the examination which will be followed by uh, regular uh, at a regular checking and also we will publish that particular uh, um, results uh, regularly on the web as per the NPTEL module as, as per NPTEL uh, norms. And uh, after the end of the course, uh, I must mention that after the course content, I must, must mention that in addition to the content uh, which are delivered in the talks, uh, students should also take care of regular studies through the references which are mentioned in the module and published in the NPTEL uh, brochure. Thank you very much.